Today we'll show you how to charge an 18650 cell or any single 1S lithium ion battery pack directly using a 5 volt solar panel. So there are many electronic devices that have non-removable batteries. So I cannot pull out the battery and charge it with my charger. Plus with a solar panel like this, I can charge these devices when I'm totally off the grid. So this solar panel I have here has 10 cells in it. Each cell produces about half a volt. Actually, it's a bit over half a volt. So 10 cells will give you a little bit over 5 volts. So when not under load, the open circuit voltage is about 5.4 volts. The short circuit current is 0.13 amp. And when under load, this panel produces about 5.15 volts. So in order to charge a lithium ion battery pack, I need to reduce the load voltage down to 4.2 volts. And I'm going to do that by using just a series of resistors and diode. So here is the calculation. So we want to reduce the voltage from here to here, which is 1 volt. So using Ohm's law, we got R equals V over I. So V is the difference between the two voltages. I is a short circuit current of solar panel. So we got R is 7.69 ohm or about 8 ohm. So that is the resistor that we're going to use. So I only need an 8 ohm resistor, but for demonstration purposes, I have three resistors and one diode all connected in series. We got 4 ohm, 8 ohm, 8 ohm, and a diode. These resistors do not have any polarity, so you can connect them in any way you want. But the diode does have polarity. This little band right here represents the arrow, so the current is going to flow in this direction. So this is the diagram to show you how it's going to be wired together. You got solar panel here, battery here. The negative it's going to go from the solar straight to the battery positive terminal from the solar go through this series and then goes through the positive for the battery the total resistance of all of these resistors connected in series is the sum of all of the resistors so in this case we got 4 plus 8 plus 8 that's 20 ohm total so if you want only 16 ohm you're just gonna have to connect from this point to the battery that is 16 ohm if you only want 8 ohm just go from here to the battery and that's 8 ohm and this is what I'm gonna use the reason why I have these two resistors just to show you the difference when we connect more resistors in series Right now I have everything connected here, solar panel going through this series of resistor and diode and then go straight to the battery. So first what I gotta do is I gotta measure the voltage of the solar panel when it's under load before it gets to this series. So this is the wire coming from the solar panel. 5.15 volts, 5.16 volts. Okay, so you want to reduce this voltage down to 4.2 volts. So that's exactly 1 volt. So I'm going to come here to my series. I'm going to measure the voltage across these two points here. So the difference between these two points is 1.3 volts. So that's 1.3 volts reduction going through this series. So a reduction of 1.33 volts is a little bit too much. So your battery is going to be charged at about 4 volts instead of 4.2 volts. So you want to re reduce it a bit less. So let's go to this point right here. Let's see what we got. So that's a 1.14 volts reduction. Right. We need exactly 1 volts. Now let's go to this point right in the middle here. This is only through one resistor and one diode. 
0.92 volts reduction so from 5.15 to 0.92 let's say 0.95 for it to be easier to do the math here so that's about 4.2 volts right 4.23 to be exact so that's perfect so that means for my system the best point is not here the best point is right here so I'm going to connect my wire directly from here to here so it only goes through one resistor and one diode this is the 8 ohm resistor and of course you have to take into account that my instrument is not perfect right so this has got some tolerance and also most importantly the solar panel right now is at around noon time so I get the maximum amount of sunlight that means most of the time I don't have this maximum amount of voltage so most of the time I will have less so that will guarantee that I will not overcharge my battery this solar panel was originally designed for this light this is a motion activated LED light on the back here it's got three spaces for three AA size nickel metal hydride battery so during the day this solar panel will charge the nickel metal hydride batteries in here and uh, this light will work at night motion activated but I'm not a big fan of nickel metal hydride battery so that's why I use this so what I did is I solder the terminal to a wire so that's a positive terminal that's a negative terminal drill a hole on the cover and this wire goes out and will connect to the battery and then at the same time it will also connect to the wire from the solar panel with the resistor and the diode in series so three wires are going to be connected together and they are connected together like this the battery the light unit and the solar panel they are all three units all connected together all the negative terminals together all the positive terminal together let's try and see if it works so we got a switch on the back here turn it on there we go works just fine the light is very bright and I've been using this light for over two years and I've never had any problem with it and the battery also works fine and I've never had to change the battery so not only can I use this solar panel to charge a single 18650 cell like I have here I can use the same solar panel to charge all my gadgets anything that runs on a single lithium ion cell and that way I can still have power for my devices when I'm going camping or when I'm off the grid or when I have no access to power and that's all I have for now thanks for watching and we'll see you next time